she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to Rhonda's Real Talk, where people come for the food, but they stick around for the conversation. Before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Today, I'm having some Chipotle. I'm trying out their new brisket, and I hope it's good because y'all know how I feel about their chicken al pastor. So I'm ready to get into this, and I'm going to let you know exactly what's inside of it. I promise I won't forget. But let's just take one big old bite. Let me make sure I get some brisket. Did I get some brisket? Yeah, I, yeah, I got some brisket. That, that's everything. That got to be everything. Oof. All right, I need a little more brisket so I can tell y'all what I think. Mm hmm I like it. It's tender. I taste a little bit of sweetness. I love the tenderness, though. Has a richness to it, but not too much. Mm. I love how tender it is. This is good. Y'all should try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Got a little kick to it. That's really good. I got my jalapeno garlic pepper. And I bought some jalapenos too. Just in case this needed something. But it doesn't. It's good. As is. Like I said, it has a kick to it. So I don't need to add jalapenos. But it's not too much though. Like if you don't like spice, I still feel like that you could enjoy this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't want to forget to tell you what's in it. So, it's brisket, white rice, black beans, um, the mild salsa, corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. I'm reading off of, you know, the little top. I want to make sure I don't forget nothing. The smokiness is good. Mm-hmm. making a mess. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was going to eat all of this, but mm -hmm. it's good. I just might. So what's up, y'all? I am filming this on a Friday. And it has been a week. In a good way. In a good way. We went away for a few days this week <clears throat> for Honey's birthday. Happy birthday to her. Also, <clears throat> shout out to my Honey for lunch. She brought me some lunch, so I appreciate you. Thank you, baby. Um, we went to celebrate her birthday. We had a really good time. I will say, one of the highlights of our trip was going to this adrenaline park. Y'all, we went to a rage room. Ugh. I enjoyed it. 
it kind of felt like an outer body experience. I don't know why though. Maybe because it's something I just never have done before. I've wanted to do. I've, I've been thinking about going to a rage room for a long time, but I just never went. So when we were looking for things to do for our birthday, this came up. We like, we're definitely going. We both have been wanting to go. And I don't know. It just felt, I don't know. I felt like I was watching myself do it, you know? I got to go back. Mandatory. Um, the adrenaline part. They had go-karts. Axe throwing. I like they had food. They had a bar. Um, they had like a small arcade. It's a nice outing for, for like for a family. Or, you know, just by yourself with your friends. If your family is in town. You know, if somebody is visiting. It is a really good option. So, the adrenaline part is in Cincinnati. So, if you ever out there, if you live out there, you should go. Um, I feel like we took it easy. We did like these glass pigeons and we did like glasses. But next time, I'm trying to do a TV. I know Honey wants to do a TV too. So yeah, it was dope. We had a really good time though. Got to sleep in. Um, I like sitting out on the porch, just sitting out and just chilling like in the morning. So I really enjoyed that. Um, we didn't do any eating videos while we were there, but I recorded other content. I got a vlog. I got some short form content I want to put out. I got a ton of editing to do. I got so much editing to do, y'all. I am not mad at this brisket. It's good. I think I'm surprised too because I've been to different places, you know, and ordered brisket and it was tough. They got it right. They definitely got it right. When I used to get the veggie bowl at Chipotle, and they would put the the fajita vegetables. I like, you know, sauteed red onions and bell peppers. I like that. But I can't stand it anymore on my bowls. I do not like it on my Chipotle bowls. And I don't know why. But I used to love it. But now, mm-mm. I'm gonna make sure I tell my dad to try this. He loves brisket. When I'm done with the show, I'm about to get into a topic. And I would love to know what y'all think. Like, I would love to know what y'all think about this. Couple more bites and we'll get into it.
This bowl didn't stand a chance, huh? I feel like they gave me a good amount of brisket too. Before I get into this topic, if you have a topic, a situation, or a question that you'd like me to ask here on the channel, hit me up at rondasrealtalk at gmail.com or send me a DM on Instagram at rondasrealtalk. All right, so I got an email from this woman. She's going to remain anonymous. Um, she's 24 years old. She's currently in college. Uh, she lives at home with her parents. She has older siblings, but her siblings all live on their own. So it's just her, her mom, and her dad. Um, and... She, you know, she's, it's a situation. So she wanted my opinion about it. That's why she reached out. So she was explaining to me that she feels like her father has been up to no good, basically. So she said that his behavior has changed. You know, he's working late, you know, a lot lately. He just doesn't seem himself. Like he's been sleeping a lot. There's all these different things, right? So she said that she kind of like, you know, has been asking her mom, like in a roundabout way about her dad's behavior. She said her mom doesn't seem concerned or alarmed. Nothing like the mom is just not really saying a whole lot. Right. So, you know, she's been sitting back and observing this behavior, been seeing these changes and stuff like that. And so she decided that she was going to reach out to one of her mentors. So her mentor is a woman that's in her 40s. Right. So so the woman is close to her parents age. And she was saying that she reached out to her mentor, explained everything that was going on. And she asked her mentor if she would reach out to her father on Facebook. The mentor was down to do it. Right. So basically reach out to the dad, see if he responds like, you know, is he flirty? Is he whatever? So the dad ends up responding. They exchanged quite a few messages. The mentor has been sharing all of the messages with her. And it's gotten to a point where the father has asked her out on a date, has asked the mentor out on a date, right? So the date is coming up. So she reached out to me and she was like, Rhonda, you know, I didn't think all of this was going to escalate. Like, I didn't think my dad was really going to respond. I think you thought your dad was going to respond. That's why you had her hit him up. Um, so anyway, she's now like the date is coming up, you know, should I go? Like, should I go with my mentor to this, to this date? Like, what should I do? You know what I'm saying? So I guess she's feeling some kind of way, maybe getting some nerves about the fact that this date is coming up. Right. So what should you do? Um, I mean, <laughs> I think the better question is the better question for me to really, you know, ask, or the, the better thing for me to talk about is, are you ready for what's going to happen after this date? You know what I'm saying? Let's say that you do pull up to the date. You know, you see it through. You show up with your mentor. You confront your father. You have hard evidence. You know what I'm saying? You had it in writing. But seeing somebody in person, in action, um, you know, interacting with someone that is not their wife is something totally different. You know, your father can't say that it was AI. He can't say that he was hacked. You know what I'm saying? Like you catch him in person, right? So are you ready for what comes after that, right? And a few things that could happen, you know, embarrassment really does a number on people. You know what I'm saying? Both of your parents could be potentially be embarrassed because there's a party involved. You know, your mentor is involved and knows your father cheats. You know what I'm saying? And there's a level of embarrassment. You know, people can respond differently when it happens. Also, it may, things just may not go the way that you expect. You know, like your mom may feel betrayed. She may feel some kind of way that you have inserted yourself and taken this type of action, didn't say anything to her about it. And now here we are. You know what I'm saying? So your mom might feel betrayed that you that you've done these things behind her back and that you've inserted herself yourself in their relationship. Like I know that you, they're your parents, but that's their relationship. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. And ultimately, what do you want to happen? So you pull up. You catch your dad red-handed. You know, he understands and knows that you're aware that he's been interacting with this woman. So you could assume there are other women, right? Um, what do you want to happen next? Like, you know, do you want your mother to be aware? Do you want your parents to separate? Like, what do you want to happen next? And maybe you might not be ready for what that is. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing, too, is that you don't know everything about your parents' relationship. You know, maybe your parents are in a rough patch in their relationship. They feel like mixing things up a little bit. That might include seeing other people. Maybe. I don't. It could happen. It's possible, right? Um, you know, you're 24 years old. So your parents have been together. You know, you got older siblings. I'm going to say your parents have been together 30 years, maybe. So maybe this is their way of mixing up their relationship. Maybe your father, your mother is well aware. 
that your father, you know, does whatever he does and she doesn't have a problem with it. Because maybe she does her own thing too, or maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's just content with the fact of there's a lot of people in relationships that are like, hey, as long as A, B, and C is done, I don't really care what else you do. I really don't care. So you got to understand that. So there's a lot of elements that you're not privy to because it's not your relationship. So I think the biggest thing in all of this is, are you ready for what happens next? Because again, it may not be what you expect. It may not be what you expect. So with that being said, I can't really tell you to see it through or not. But I mean, you've also come this far. So why wouldn't you pull up and go to the date? You know what I mean? So again, there's a lot of things you just don't know that's going on behind the scenes in your parents' relationship. Um, and you know, I don't know. It's just a lot of things to consider. So GP fan, meet me in the comments. Let me know what you would do. You know, would you have taken this route? Would you have just stayed out of the relationship altogether? You know, that's their relationship. Whatever y'all got going on is y'all thing. Would you have inserted yourself? And if you, at this point, have involved your mentor, this date is coming up, would you go and pull up and show up at the date so that you can confront your father? Would you do that? You know, because, I mean, it's one thing for things to be happening or possibilities or whatever, but, you know, let's say that the mom doesn't, you know, like nobody, there has, there's no hard evidence the father is cheating. His behavior has simply just changed, right? I can't even imagine the look on his face seeing his daughter at this date. So anyways, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. How would you handle it? What should she do? All of that good stuff. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you guys end up, you know, trying the brisket at Chipotle, make sure you let me know what you think of it. I appreciate y'all watching. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself, y'all. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.